What's up guys? Today we're coming at you with a junk doppel deck profile. So let's jump into the deck profile and see what we're coming at you with. We're running three of our quick draw synchron. Quick draw synchron. He's not one of our key pieces to the deck, but at the same time he is. He's one of the pieces that helps to help us to get into our links a little bit faster, open up our board so we can go into some combo plays and also go into some of our synchro plays. We're running our main tuner, jump synchron, jump synchron. You want to see him in his hand in your hand as fast as possible. Hopefully with your Doppel Warrior within the graveyard and you can get some crazy combo plays with him. We're running three of our Jet Synchron. Jet Synchron is another key piece to the deck. He's just as key as um, our Jump Synchron. Jet Synchron can help you search your Jump Synchron if he's sent for a Synchro Summon, as long as you didn't use the effect to bring him back out of the graveyard. So if you want to find a way to you know, help you set up the graveyard so that you can special summon him back, then that's cool. But if you want to be able to get your searches, you can also use the search ability to get your Jump sync rod and plan in hand and go for other plays later down the road. We're also running one unknown synchron. Unknown synchron, you know, it's really going for second, but whenever you get that free special summon, it's a level one tuner on board. It can really set you up some plays. So you can really go in some really good uh, link plays or even just really good synchro plays. We're running the one glow up bulb. Glow up bulb is bulb, you know, just the fact that you can mill one off the top, bring it back from out of the graveyard, and just help you extend so many of your combo plays. We're running three of the Synchron Carrier. Synchron Carrier is good in the aspect of if you got your Jump Doppler in the graveyard, to be able to summon this, summon your uh, Jump Synchron, and it's still considered as a normal summon you're going to be able to have more monsters on board a whole lot faster. That can help you get into your link plays. You can use his other effects. So like if you have him on board, go into your uh, jump speeder, you know, things like that. It's going to bring out a bunch of monsters. He's going to help you get a token on board. And like I said, that can help you get into some really good combo plays. We're also running three of our Rush Warrior. A lot of the synchros that you know are really good for the jump doppel deck is their their warrior synchros and the fact that you can boost those attack points up is really good and then drop this like an honest two in a way can really put the damage on board that you need to really you know put the kiss on the game and say you know what that was really fast you know let's go on to game two game three you know if you have to but that can really be useful to you also too the fact that it brings back another synchro monster is very good we're running three Doppel Warriors. Doppel Warriors is what you want to go into. You want to have him set up so you can get to your combo plays. The tokens, you need those tokens. It's just going to help you facilitate a lot of your plays. The same thing with our Quillbolt cool Hedgehog. Quillbolt cool works good with the uh, Quick Draw Synchron. You know, special summon your Quick Draw, dump this, go with your plays from there. That can help you get into a real quick Link Monster. Or it can even help you get to the board set up so that you can have. Yes, new extra materials that you need for synchro materials. And lastly, we're running two Boost Warrior. Boost Warrior is just good just for a free special summon. If you got that tuner out there, special summoning, he's a level one. It's going to help you get the extra monsters that you need on board. And that is it for our monsters. For our spell cards, we're running the one reinforcement of the army. Like I said, the warrior monsters that you have in there, when you want to get them, you want to get them fast. You want to get the boost warrior. You want to be able to get the doppel warrior. You want to be able to get to your jump synchron or even your rush warrior that can help you get to the plays that you need to get to and get the, place, the graveyard set up and your hand set up the way you need to. We're running the three tuning because you want to be able to get those synchrons in the hand that are tuners as fast as possible and help you get your combo play set up. And also too, it's gonna be like a little mini foolish burial. You wanna hopefully lay off one of them monsters and not a spell card. We're running one foolish burial. Foolish burial, just be able to get that graveyard set up, get the combo pieces going. Got the one, one for one. This is a key piece to the deck. You wanna be able to get that monster set up in the graveyard that you pitch and also too, get that one tuner usually that you wanna get out there and just, you know, go off with it. We're running one Monster Reborn because Monster Reborn is just Monster Reborn. It's too good to get a free monster. You got the Soul Charge, you know, to be a game charge. You know, that way you just be able to lock it. If you get 
the right materials in there just be able to play this and just go off completely we're also running three D synchro D synchro is you know a very good card for this deck the fact that you can go into you like your formula synchron or you know some of your key combo pieces that help you just draw unlimited cards by re synchro into cards get a free draw get another synchro get another one or two draws you know things like that also too helps you to go into some of your really extreme combo plays where you can get quasar on board and other monsters on board as well so these synchro is very good for the deck we're also having to run we have to run two call by the grave because this deck will fall very fast to hand traps and hand traps is something that you don't want to really have a problem with with this deck you want to make sure that you can get the combo plays going the way you want to so if they drop start dropping stuff too heavy go ahead and drop a call by the grave say nah sir let's go and keep that play going and lastly same thing we're running two twin twister because we want to make sure that back row stays blown off because the back row is crazy and you want to make sure you can get your plays going the way you want to and that is it for the main deck for the extra deck we're running one cosmic blazar dragon just to be able to make sure that you can get a big monster on board that can you know pretty much do what you need it to do either negate a summon negate an attack or any type of crazy card effect that you don't want to pop off just be able to negate that for a 4,000 uh, beater with legs, we're very good. We're also running the Stardust Warrior. This guy, I really like him. You know, he, he stops the inherent summons of monsters. Uh, that's very useful for a lot of the monster effects that are popping off right now. And also, too, the fact is when he leaves the field, he's able to special summon a warrior. That can help you out with a lot of your synchro plays. Really good. We're running one side frame Lord Omega because, you know, like I said, the ban list, you know, we jump speeder, he 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 had to speed, he had to get a speeding ticket, he had to slow down a little bit. But Cyframe Lord Omega can help you get some of your plays that you need to get set up, get him out there fast, go into some more combo plays, and then push come to shove, you can spin him back into the extra deck with another card that you need and help you go from plays later down the road. We're running one jump destroyer. It's very good to be able to get two combos. Uh, pieces going out there be able to get your yeah, crazy synchron tuner you know your quick draw out there get some like a boost warrior and then a a uh, quibble hedgehog out there be able to get three pops on your opponent's cards it's very good it's very useful and helps clear boards and he's also a big beater for the deck the same thing with junk archer junk archers helps to be able to clear the field clear the way for what you need to you want to otk as much as possible you don't want to be trying to go into that next turn, so this can help you uh, do those plays. We're running two Junk Speeder. Junk Speeder is, you know, very, very essential for the deck now. You know, the way Junk Doppel is, you know, there's other plays that you can make, but the fact that you can get this guy out there, especially some of as many tuna monsters as you need, that you need at that moment in time, you have to make the right play. Just combo off from there and just keep going with mad crazy plays after that. It's just very good. Also, too, his effect to boost up in uh, attack points is very good. And like I said, the fact that you can drop your Rush Warrior on top of that can, you know, really seal the game for you if you need to. We're running one Stardust Charge Warrior. Just get that free draw and help go into other combo pieces. We're running one TG Hyper Livarium because just to be able to get that good draw is always good for a Synchro deck. Not running two, just running one because there's other plays that we want to make with the deck. But maybe later down the road we might be able to find a way to get two in here. But right now one is very good, especially when we got the Charge Warrior as well. We're also running the Assault Blackwing Soku. Uh, this is just a good card, utility card. Just the fact that you can go in this and he can become a tuner if you use the Blackwing monster is very good. And helps to get another monster on board. Just helps you with so many of your combo plays. The same thing with the Blackwing Soya. Uh, he's just good. He's just a number level two. If you get it, the combo with this is very good. Make this into a tuner by bringing him back as well. It's just always so good. When you normally summon him, bring this off with a, I believe it's a junk, uh, junk Synchron. Make this guy, bring him back, and then just go into your Qu uh, Quasar play from there. It's just really good. We're also running one Excel Synchron, very essential for the deck. You want to get this guy out there, start sending your Synchrons to the graveyard, modulate his level, and just go with your place from there. 
The same thing with our Formula Synchron. Formula Synchron is going to be needed in almost every Synchro deck just to get that free draw and hopefully just get that Excel. Just keep going. We're also trying out the Junk Collector. Junk Collector is a watered down Crystron needle fiber, but the fact that I like about him is, is even if he's destroyed, you can help bring out your Junk Speeder. And that can be a very good utility piece for you. So if you get this on board, and you have, even if you have already your Excel Synchron on board, you, and if you have anything like your Rush Warrior, or anything like that in your hand, if they destroy this, this will come out. He's gonna get a boost. If you have this in hand, he's gonna get a really big boost. So it can be something that can really deter your opponent from really going really off on you. You can just use this as bait, or you can just use it and go into all your, you know, synchro plays. And lastly, for the extra deck, we're running one Deco Talker just because we want to have a backup plan just in case things don't go the way we want to. But that is it for the deck profile, guys. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment below. We're out.